Now watch this. Watch what Jesus said. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you like, for you are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanness. You know, I was looking at Ringo's uh, comments again, and uh, you know, people were saying he's a good-looking young man. And then people were saying about how the quality of his video production. See, and um, I like what one person's comment stated that, well, in the world, they do good quality video production, but it's still a lie. <laughs> it's just a lie in high quality. And that's all Ringo stuff is. He has HD quality lies. HD quality deception. High definition quality deception. That's all it is. Hear what I'm saying? And many people are misled by the digital expertise that he uses. Now watch this. Listen to me carefully. Outward they appear. The black Hebrew Israelites uniforms. You look at their uniforms. Look, outward. They appear on the outside to be beautiful. They want to convince people by the appearance. And people fall for it, especially black people. Because we're so used to seeing ghetto, we're so used to seeing low quality, we're so used to seeing dirt, and we're so used to seeing black people who are just depressed, and I mean just black people don't even look look like nothing. So we see black people who are, you know, uniform. That's what the Nation of Islam used to draw a lot of black. Very well, neat, organized, professional looking. You know, they put a lot of money into their clothing and uniform and outward appearance of the women and the covering of the head and the gowns and the aprons and the robes. And people are misled by this stuff. I remember when I was 17 years old, there was a so called prophet. Then I thought he was a prophet, and I found out later he was a false prophet. But I was deceived by this man. Because he was smile, he had a beautiful big smile, on him, but he wore all white and he wore his long robe that sometimes his robe would be so long, he would have somebody carrying his robe, the bottom of the robe for him. <clears throat> and he wore this uh, hat on his head, a round hat on his head, and he wore this big star of David on his chest. And this man, when I saw him coming, it was as if he was, he was Jesus' right hand man. And I just thought he was a real man of God and prophet. And he just seemed so nice, humble, and sweet man. And he started teaching. And I'll never forget two times he taught something that I said, that is unbiblical. That ain't true. i never forget that. And I was one of the first when I was in that church. God had me in the church that I was in to teach me about false prophets, false prophecy, deceptions, and cults. And to this day, I thank God for raising me up in that church because of what he taught me. And I left that church. Hear me. And I'm going to tell many of you, you need to be bold enough that when you find deception and lies in your church, in your religion, in your cult, in the people you listen to and follow, you need to confront them. You need to get them in the word and question, ask questions. Anybody that don't want to answer questions and avoid your questions, get away from them. But if it ain't lining up with the word of God and they're leading you astray and they're making you full of anger, they're making you not follow what Jesus is saying. They're not teaching you what Jesus is saying. They're telling you something opposite of what Jesus is saying and causing you to do opposite of what Jesus is saying. Watch this. You need to get away from them. Verse 28 of Matthew 23. It says, even so, you also outwardly appear righteous unto men but within are full of hypocrisy and iniquity do you know there's a brother named taze doc who says he's the holy spirit that man is full of lust i can discern it by the holy ghost and just seeing things i mean just full of lust and and, and you would be shocked to believe how many of them are involved in pornography how many of them are sleeping with different women they have a whorish spirit Hear me. I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you. I'm here to blow the cover on the devil. Listen to me. I did a um, a video on Ringo's lustful lifestyle. It was flagged several times. But there are some things that I I, I, I have on my other uh, uh, hard drive that I'm, I, I'm getting fixed now. And I'm going to reveal some things that's about to come out that's going to shock some of you. But I'm going to tell you something. Listen to me. They are full of lust. 
They're full of sin and the very things that they preach against, they're doing. I'm going to tell you why they preach against it so much. So they can blow a smoke screen. So you wouldn't think it's them. Oh, come on now. Many of you wouldn't think that Ringo is full of lust. You wouldn't think that Ringo loves money. But if you really take a close look, you'll see it. You'll see it. So obvious. Well, that's what Jesus is addressing. Hear me. Now, I'm going to continue this. With another video. But I know already some of y'all folk are getting mad at me. But watch this. I'm, I'm talking to what Jesus said. Watch verse 33 in Matthew 23 here. He said, you serpents, you generation of vipers. How can you escape the damnation of hell? That's where they're going to end up. In hell. He said, serpents, and I'm going to tell you what a serpent does. I'm going to tell you two things about a snake. A snake will bite you with your back turned. A snake will fill you with venom and poison to kill you. Never, ever play with a snake. Never, ever turn your back on a snake. Never, ever allow a snake to bite you. Did you hear me? Listen to me. You know what a viper does. As a matter of fact, thank you, Holy Spirit. He said, you serpents, you generation of vipers. He specifically said vipers. Now, you can talk about two kinds of things. The, the kind that will bite you and put venom in you can wrap around you and choke you to death. Did you hear me? Slowly kill you. Just choke you to death. I mean, and how many of you know that they will choke you to death if they can't bite you with venom and fill you with venom and lies and deception and anger and all this corruption? They'll choke you to death. Yeah. If you are a part of... Uh, if you are part of this cult, if you are a part of this racist cult, because that's what they are. You know, one of the things that's interesting is Hitler was driven by an antichrist spirit so strong. You know, historically, up to this day, people are questioning, was Hitler the antichrist? Hitler was not the antichrist, but he was a antichrist. Uh, the the Misha, who, 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 who ruled uh, Europe. He he was a uh, 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 emperor. He 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 ruled. Uh, he persecuted and killed Christians. He was an antichrist. Nero was an antichrist. They persecuted and killed Christians. Hear me. Popes were antichrists. Hear me. They killed Christians. <laughs> Listen to me. What is quite interesting is we're preaching about antichrist to come. But every time you turn around, Christians in China are hiding underground. Listen to me. They're being persecuted and being killed because of their faith in Jesus Christ. I was just reading the article. In an Islamic country, American troops went into this country and took Bibles that were shipped over there. I believe it was an Islamic country. Um, yeah, it was an Islamic country. And they literally burned these Bibles. They didn't send it back to where it was, came, where it came from, back to the missionaries that sent it. But they burned these Bibles. Listen to me. And we can talk about the persecutions that are going on right now all over the world, even in the Sudan. Did you realize that Sudan is now officially two uh, governments now? It's divided into two different countries, North and South. And the persecution in the Sudan was so strong that the Muslims were, were attacking, killing, enslaving, and warring against the southern Christians. Listen to me. The spirit of the Antichrist is growing stronger and stronger in the earth. And the black Hebrew Israelites are a cult that's born out of this demonic spirit movement. And I'm telling you, as God is my witness... Don't wait and think that an antichrist is coming who's going to rule the world and, and he's going to have these supernatural powers. And I'm going to tell you something. I, 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 I did a teaching on antichrist. You need to see those videos. That's a big smokescreen deception. The antichrist, according to 1 John, and even when John wrote it, listen to me. Uh, he said the antichrist is here now and will come. And the, 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 the Antichrist was during the time of John, and the Antichrist is now in the future of what he was talking about. So when I say the spirit of Antichrist, the spirit of Antichrist is a strong among this cult called the Black Hebrew Israelites. Now, 
If you are part of them, if you're following them, if you've been influenced by it, you need to repent before God. Listen to me. Number one, you need to repent and say, God, forgive me for believing these lies and errors and giving in to this seducing lying spirit. Then the second thing you need to do immediately is you need to you need to really uh, throw yourself into the word of God. You need to spend quality time in the word of God, the Bible. And I'm talking about starting with the book of John, the book of Matthew. You need to read the book of Galatians, the book of Romans. Listen to me carefully. Day in and day out. And just fill your mind with the word of God. Do you know, I'm going to tell you something clear. They will try to keep you away from the New Testament. Now watch this. I'm going to tell you something they'll tell you. They will warn you against Paul's letters. Okay, number one. And two, they don't speak much against the Gospels, but they don't talk much about the Gospels, and they don't quote much of the Gospels. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> because Jesus will rebuke them. And Jesus said, as I just said to you, I spent the whole 23rd chapters talking to you in Matthew 23. Okay. That same spirit of the Pharisees and Sadducees is the same spirit in the uh, uh, black Hebrew Israelites. Okay. They won't touch that. They won't mess with Jesus. But they're always saying Ye Yeshua. And I got news for you. Let me say this to you. Uh, most of the ones who will propagate the name of God in Hebrew... The name of Jesus in Hebrew. See, there, there are three things about the name of Jesus. There's, there's, listen to me carefully. There's one, there's the Greek name, which is Iasis. There's the Hebrew name, which is Yeshua. And there's the English name, which is Jesus. Okay? Now, the ones who propagate the Hebrew name, Yeshua, don't speak a bit of Hebrew. They don't even understand Hebrew. Do you know most people who know Hebrew, they either learned it culturally growing up, and a lot of the ones who learned, who didn't learn it that way, they went to school to learn Hebrew. And I was talking to a Hebrew uh, a pr professor, and you know, he was explaining to me Hebrew is a very sophisticated language. It can be very sophisticated, and it's quite interesting. Is he, here you have all these so-called uh, uh, Hebrews who they don't even know the Hebrew language. Now, I want to say this to you clearly. If you've been misled by them, you need to get out right now. Okay? Um, my heart ached today because I was watching, I was listening to, and I, I've, I've watched them videos, the actual documentaries years ago, and I've been studying the history of Jim Jones. And my heart ached when I heard the, the actual audio. I, I, I couldn't, last night I tried to finish, I couldn't finish it. And then I got up again and listened to it again. And all you heard in the background was children crying. And it, it bothered me. It, it literally was doing something to me. And just hearing what Jim Jones was saying to these people. Not once did he quote scripture. He, did, he wasn't talking scripture during this whole session. He wasn't teaching from the Bible. He didn't mention Jesus. He didn't mention God. Uh, and it's quite interesting. Watch this. I'm going to be doing coming up a series on how Jim Jones did what he did. Okay. Now listen to me carefully. Not only Jim Jones, but other cult leaders. And I'm going to be talking about black cult leaders because what is interesting with Jim Jones, he did that in uh, his followers were black folk. He had a lot of white folk too, but a majority of his followers was black folk. Talk about Daddy Grace and many other uh, black uh, leaders who came and led black folk astray. Why? Don't you realize the spirit of the Antichrist is wants to do two things. He wants to...